Hey guys, welcome back. In the update notes for August the 7th, we have guilds, new materials, claim multi-screenshot function, lots of new props, new outfits, claim upkeep, voxel vision, steam friends, and bug fixes. For the first four beta testers in Landmark who subscribe to my channel, I'll be giving away the new Insider Colonist Encounter Suit or a Gem Seekers brooch, whichever you prefer. Leave me a message here on YouTube or send me a PM in Landmark forums with your selection. We can now make glass and use it as a material along with having translucent ice. This should provide a very interesting array of possibilities. We have a plethora of new props to decorate or shine some light on our builds. These new props should help add a little more flavor and variety to the game as we steadily move along in the beta. This is the last update prior to SOE Live where I have a feeling we're going to be inundated, awe stricken and pretty much stoked to capacity with all the new information concerning Landmark and EverQuest Next. For those of us who play Planet Side 2, we have new outfits so we can strut our faction colors. I'm repping the NC with yellow and blue, although I do enjoy playing each of the factions. Guild creation, although limited and in the developing stages, was introduced in this patch so players can now join together and represent their guild or create a whole new one for Landmark. Once again, for the first four Landmark beta testers who subscribe to my channel, I'll be giving you the option to choose a code for the Colonist Encounter suit or a Gem Seekers brooch. Just send me a message here on YouTube or PM me via the Landmark forums. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for future Landmark news.